And there's a very important case that makes very clear what chair people of public bodies have a certain authority. And, and this is similar to the authority a town moderator has at town meeting. And the case is entitled State versus Dominic. And it's interesting because it was actually a select board member who was being obstinate at a public meeting. It was a select board member of three, and one select board member um, was kept interrupting the chair while the chair was doing some business or hearing from a member of the public, and that select board member who was interrupting kept interrupting. He was told to stop interrupting. He's preventing the business of the meeting from being going, going forward and getting completed. And after he was told three or four times to stop interrupting, stop interrupting the flow of business, the chair said, look, if you keep interrupting me, I'm going to have this police officer remove you from the meeting because you're interrupting the flow of, of the business, and you can't do that because government has to be able to cl complete these agendas, and you're preventing us from doing it. And, of course, he kept piping up, and eventually the select board member was arrested and t carted out of the room. And, of course, he sued the town saying he, was in, he has right, free speech under the First Amendment infringed. And ultimately the Supreme Court in our state said, no, no, there are limits to free speech. And one of those limits is you cannot use speech to prevent government from doing its job, from getting a, a, the business of a meeting going forward and getting completed.